We're going to Key West today for my birthday. About to board to Miami and then from there go to Key West. Let's go. Smaller plane and the shortest flight ever. My kind of flight. That anxious feeling that you get when you're about to go to somewhere completely new. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. With views like this, you can't help but think we live in a beautiful planet. I love small airports, and this was the smallest carousel I've ever seen. My luggage came out in two seconds. Can someone explain this to me? Why do we need a screen when it was already clear you could see the same view prior? Why? Why do we need a screen? I guess I forgot to mention, but it's my 40th birthday, and we went to AB Lobster House. Great location. It's self-proclaimed the Pearl of Key West. And let me tell you, the service was great, the food was great, we had a wonderful time. Nothing like flying halfway across the country to have a nice drink with good company on my birthday. It's gotta be one of my new favorite things to do. By the way, I ordered the lobster and wow, it was really good. I did mention it was my birthday, so the waiter brought me this free dessert. Key lime pie, of course. You're gonna see a lot of key lime pie in Key West. Uh, only in Key West? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a doll over there for some reason. Well, Duval Street is definitely the crazy party area of the island. No doubt about that. I went to a gallery. It wasn't this specific gallery, but could have sworn that the price tag on these dolphin statues were as much as a car. Want to have some fun on the island? Rent a golf cart. Oh man, it's a waste to have a car in this island. It's just too small. Really, you're good with a scooter or a golf cart. So much more fun to get around the island. I had a blast. We took a dip in this nice warm pool and there was live country entertainment from all over the country. BMI artists. This was the BMI event and it was so relaxing. In Duval Street though, you can expect some live entertainment. A lot of bars will have karaoke, perfect environment for some drinks, and some good food. Also in Duval Street, there's the Old Town Mexican Cafe. Who would have thought that there was decent Mexican food? I would say it's good Mexican food. Or maybe I was just hungry, but I thought it was really good. And of course, you gotta have ice cream on a trip, always. After breakfast, we decided to rent some scooters, and it was the best decision we've ever made on this trip. So much fun. We spent the day riding all over the island. First time renting a scooter, and they're a lot of damn fun. I love them. For 24 hours, you can rent a scooter for 50 bucks. The city of Key West has these designated scooter parking spots. They're lines that are yellow and narrow. Key West doesn't have a whole lot of beaches, so we just stopped by because we found one and enjoyed the views for a minute. Highly recommend renting a scooter. Oh man, no way to experience the island, like riding on the scooter all over the island. A, it's so much fun, and B, you don't have to take an Uber everywhere, and you're, you know, in fixed locations, and 
just get a scooter and start exploring. And exploring we did. We found this place called the Mellow Cafe. They had really good nachos and drinks. Our lovely waitress, who was very sweet, was just talking about her fear of watermelon and then that just completely forgetting that that conversation he orders watermelon i thought it was so funny but uh he didn't mean anything bad by it it was just funny and our waitress was amazing yeah she looks like Madonna. after spending a couple of days here you know i came here and uh i was kind of a grouch and i was saying that duval street is very noisy let me tell you i forgot the secret ingredient you have to have a couple of drinks <laughs> It's a really fun place. I really can't wait to come back here, guys. Especially after the scooter experience. You get a scooter in your life, man, so much fun. So much fun. Just make sure you wear a helmet, even though it looks dorky. So we came across these ghost tours and I would love to come back. I kind of felt like, am I back in Salem? It was really cool. It just had a Halloween vibe and right next to it is this shipwreck treasures museum, which also looked like fun. I would like to see it. It felt like we were in a theme park. Check out this house, guys. It's so beautiful. All the detail. If you look closely with those chairs, it looks like a Alice in Wonderland type themed house, but it's called the Artist House. No vacancy sign, so it looks like it's some kind of a hotel or a bed and breakfast. I'd definitely stay here. It's a good location too. So it's the last day here. Definitely always hard to say goodbye to this one. Even though it's not goodbye, it's see you soon. Traveling to new places I've never been to before and meeting new people I've never seen before definitely makes me realize that there really is good people everywhere you go. And it's probably the biggest thing that I take with me every time I go to somewhere new. I do realize that it's not where you go or where you're at in that very moment, but it's who you're with. Until next time. Remember, there's good people everywhere you go.